this is the first time that as a group you've collectively voted somebody or asked them to leave the island. He's, he's going. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god. Frank! Oh, Frank got uh, washed away, the old sailor, which is a bit ironic. Right, mate. Yeah, you good. But as in many survival situations, their biggest enemy was themselves. Uh, it. I think the main problem was people could have done dangerous things because they weren't thinking. Don't worry, just take deep breath. And they just weren't expecting it to be as draining as it was. One, two, three, seven. Where oh, are you? Imagine that you're wearing a suit made of lead. I think that's how it feels to do things when you're that tired and hungry. You OK? Oh, f I fell asleep. That was all. Looking after each other is fundamental to survival. But on this island, the group turned on one of their own. This is the first time that as a group you've collectively voted somebody or asked them to leave the island. How did you feel about that, Jane? I know you were kind of instrumental there. Um. From first meeting them, I knew there was something a little bit quirky about them. Phil took a bit of a control, and it was a control that I didn't particularly like. There you go. A power control, not a control that I'm going to look after you. Little thing, please, just let it. I'll stop you, please, for two minutes so I can get warm. Can you try and get me hand? Before? Yeah, I understand that. But if I don't, if I don't maintain this power, then what? You can put it up, but put the socks on. Yeah, it is. Never felt as alone in my whole entire life. All I wanted to do was just lie next to the fire. I hear the arrogance of the man. You know that's not sharing. That's not, that's that's being selfish. Last night, some of you were showing the first signs of hypothermia. When I asked you, could I be beside the fire for five minutes? You said no. Beside no the fire. comment because I'm not going to discuss anything with well, you. Well, yeah, tell fire. you what then. You're a liar, right? Because okay. you know you fucking did. Jane was capable of blowing things out of absolute proportion. Those tiny incidences were amplified, I regard, disproportionately. Everything went out of control. I probably never sworn as much in my life. And if I, if I could have physically assaulted them that night and getting away with it, I would have punched them all over that camp. Jane wasn't the only one to turn their back on Phil. His use of some scavenged olive oil didn't go down well with many of the group. It's really quite depressing, actually, to see that. Isn't it? It's it really, really is. F***ing annoying. Without that, we would have no food. Without the fire, we'd have the no fire, water or The food. fire was lit. But how can seven people be wrong and one right? Yeah. I don't get that. I made appropriate judgment calls at the time. Some, in hindsight, were better than others. But I stick by them. Phil, I've had a problem with you from the start. I don't think that you belong in this sort of social situation. I'm asking for the members of this group here to vote whether you stay or whether you go. It was scary. I can honestly say it, it was a scary feeling to be singled out like that. I think you're a male chauvinist, ignorant pig, and I think you are a disgrace to mankind. Shit. There was frustration in the camp and they needed a scapegoat. The Lord of the Flies element comes in if, you know, if you're not voting somebody off, but you're shunning them, and then they don't get food, and then eventually the, 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 the real consequence is, is can somebody can die. If it was actually Lord of the Flies, he definitely would have been killed 100%. He would have definitely been killed. Does that feel fair, or, or what about the word, what about right? Yeah, it's not fair. It's not fair on him. It's not fair on the rest of the group. But as you say, right, yeah, I'd say a right decision. Enjoy the rain! You know, once we got shot to him, it was like having a great big <laughs> Oh, what a relief. But for Phil, the drama continued back on the mainland. I'm in a Panamanian hospital, having had major surgery on the fingertip, which I just thought was a little bit of a crop, and it wasn't. Ah! And they've cut away necrotic, you know, dead flesh. 
So it was black. It was going gangrenous. It was stinky. Ah. Glad I come off when I did, because otherwise I might have lost my finger. Because the surgeon said that 24 hours later, I might have lost it. So, ironically, in hindsight, it might have been a good thing.